in South Africa keeps rising. Sometimes I ask myself the question, what is the government doing about this? Because it keeps rising, we are just looking at the charts and we are asking ourselves, is this ever going to end? Now, recently, we have spoken about so many people who have passed away due to these related crimes. And of course, we've spoken about prominent figures like AKA, which still hurts again. Now, another gospel artist was shot in church, and this one comes in at a very bad timing. Now, we're going to talk about everything you need to know into this video about this gospel artist. Probably you already know him, but we're going to talk about it and talk about the whole scene in details. Well, if you're new to my channel, if I tell you passing by for the first time here, you're most definitely welcome to Afro Trend South Africa. Please do take some of your time to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for your love and support. South African gospel musician Nzolosi Mbete nearly met his maker last night when the thugs shot him while trying to hijack him. And Better is known for his famous song and is said to be recovering at him. any hospital after he was shot during the attempted hijacking. His management team confirmed the accident and we can confirm that this occurred on May 12, 2023 outside Valley of Praise Christian Church in the town where the gospel artist in Solisi Mbete was booked to perform at an evening service around 7 o'clock. Three armed men tried to hijack him with his driver and manager. Unfortunately, Mbete got shot and he is hospitalized. The statement reads, Yukuzi FM radio presenter and Gospel Crown Awards founder Zanele Mbokazi condemned that incident. Zulisi is recovering in the hospital. We condemn the incident and wish him a speedy recovery. Our prayers are with him. We have been in contact with his management since morning. That is the information according to the table. Now, we are not so surprised about the number of people who have passed away in South Africa and the number of people who have passed away just from this cause of hijacking. It's getting very alarming. The problem here we have is that what are we doing to solve this issue? What are we doing? Right now, the charts keeps rising and of course, I think it's time for the government to put a stand on this to end this because if it continues, it won't just be a normal issue anymore. Thanks for watching this video. Please do want to share a comment in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye guys.